Hey, 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 Bill Shaka here. Welcome to another edition of the 5-Minute Motivator. Hey, folks, you may remember a couple weeks back, I, I put something out there about a simple strategy, actually a tactic that you could use to make sure your head's and shoulders above the rest. And that tactic was to actually fill out one of these things after a sales call or if somebody does something nice for you. It's a thank you card. Inside the thank you card is nothing, nothing, which means the implication here is that you are going to have to write something in that card. Hmm. I think the notion of a handwritten thank you card works very well, but I want to extend this idea a little further. I've been talking about this for two years in my live sales classes, and I don't know whether or not anybody has implemented it. At least nobody has responded to me. And now I'm starting to see some ideas on the Internet of the same thing. If you need to send a thank you email, listen closely, especially salespeople. If you need to send a thank you email, include a video. I hope I put enough emphasis on that. The notion of a short video in an email or a short video attached to a LinkedIn thank you, however you want to do it and work it and so forth. But just a note to say, hey, this is Bill Shock. I wanted to thank you for your time the other day. I really enjoyed it. Uh, here's a summary of what we spoke about. And you can go a little further than an actual thank you uh, card. Here's a summary of what we spoke about. And uh, if that's correct, I'd, I can't wait to get a proposal to you. I can't wait for our next time, uh, our next face-to-face uh, uh, -face together or virtual time together. And to just simply uh, extend that, uh, that process forward. Folks, I, I, I got to tell you. The notion of an embedded uh, video in a thank you email uh, has me, it, it has me stupefied. I, I can't say I like it better than a um, first class postage envelope licked kind of thank you uh, card because there's a much greater chance that it's going to be opened. But the notion of a little personalized video in an email Oh, I think that's going to go so far. I, I, I'm really excited about this. Now, uh, actually, uh, you might be able to incorporate both. Here's how. So you send out your thank you email, uh, your thank you uh, uh, card, and basically saying, I'm going to send you an email outlining what we spoke of. So in other words, this notion of a discovery agreement or a discovery letter, what we spoke of, can actually be the video. And that's going to that. So, so in other words, they're going to read it on the thank you uh, card that you sent them. Then they're going to get the email. You're going to tell them in the thank you card. We'll look out for. We'll be be on the lookout for this email. And then they're going to see this video of you talking about what they discovered. You can have your notes in front of you that you took, and you know, very informal thing at your desk, at your cubicle, maybe in the conference room of the uh, of your office, if it's that impressive of a conference room. I mean, if you're looking out over uh, the skyscraper of uh, the uh, skyscrapers of Manhattan, that might be impressive enough to send out. Uh, whatever it turns out to be. Um, be honest with you, I kind of like my background. What do you think? Is that impressive enough to send a thank you out? Ah, hi, everybody. Look at that palm tree. Anyway, uh, think about that notion of embedded videos in thank you emails. Don't lose sight of the manual uh, thank yous, the handwritten thank yous. See if there's a way for you to strategize an incorporation, a melding of the two of them. If there is, huh, who knows what might happen. You're going to be heads and tails above everybody else. In other words, what I mean by that is you're going to be remembered. Hey, like, share, comment uh, on these uh, Five Minute Motivators. Please join the channels of uh, the Five Minute Motivator and the YouTube channel. I'm sorry if I shook right there. There was a spider on me. Uh, not the most uncommon thing in Costa Rica. Uh, before I moved here, I would have been uh, flaying and screaming like a, a, a five-year-old, but instead I just kind of pinocled them off and said, go bother somebody else. Anyway, uh, like, share, comment, uh, join the channels. Look forward to seeing you in the next edition. Bye.